Our automotive technology program is a two-year program uh, where the main thrust is to train students to be automotive technicians. Our students are with us for two years. The first year we start off with uh, maintenance and light repair, uh, including oil changes, tire rotations, learning the different uh, aspects of the car. Everything from brakes, suspension, to engines and transmissions. And throughout those two years, um, the farther you go, the deeper in depth we get. One of the main things we look for is students that have self-discipline. What I mean by that is if you get a tool or equipment out, you put it back. And that's the way the industry works. The faster you are able to fix and repair cars, the more money you make. And they really just need a willingness to learn, a passion for this industry, whether they're going to actually wrench on a car or they're going to go into parts or sales. Um, just that passion and the willingness to try and to get dirty and be able to think. There are no specific requirements for enrollment. Um, it is good to have some good basic math skills, um, decimals and fractions, uh, formulas, uh, computer skills, everything is online. What we look for when students sign up is that uh, they're committed for two years. Commitment is huge. We do work on a lot of customer vehicles in our class, so if you tear something apart, you know, it's your responsibility to put it back together. Mechanical aptitude is very important. Uh, being able to work with your hands, um, you do get dirty in, the, in our field. Yes, we do actually offer uh, State of Michigan State certification tests here at the Career Center. Um, the school actually pays for all of our students to take that as well, so it's free to the student. So when my students leave as seniors after taking the two-year course, they can be certified in up to eight of the Michigan State areas. And new, starting next year, they will be able to get an ASE, which is a national certification, uh, MLR, which stands for Maintenance and Light Repair. They will have some critical thinking skills, being able to diagnose problems, know what the problem is, use of different various kinds of tools, all the way from hand tools to specialized power equipment to electronic diagnostic equipment, and just those basic work habits that employers are looking for. Things like attendance, am I here every day, am I here on time? Um, when I do my job, do I do it thoroughly? Do I double check it? You know, did I leave fingerprints on the car? Um, just some of those basic customer care qualities as well. We do uh, build and race drag cars as well. We have currently have three cars that our students have built. They maintain them and our students drive them. So we go to two uh, high school national events every year at Milan, Michigan, and our students do get a chance to uh, drive those cars. There are a lot of possible next steps for students after they complete our program. Again, our main thrust is to train students to be automotive technicians, but then there are different levels. That's all the way from a lubrication technician that just changes oil into safety inspections to a, a tire technician, all the way up to a master automotive certified technician, which works on all areas of the cars, and whether they work in a small shop or a large dealership, um, they can go into parts, they can go into sales, they can go into service management, and we've had uh, students even go in, go to Ferris and get their engineering degree, and one student who even now makes equipment for automotive suppliers. The job shadow and work-based learning opportunities in automotive technology range from year to year, and they range with industry. So if the industry is busy and they need technicians, um, we are able to support industry with you know, entry level technicians. Um, I do send all of my senior students out on at least a job shadow, if not two or three, to see um, how a normal shop operates every day. I try and get them into a dealership for a day, a major or large dealership, and then also an independent repair garage to see how a smaller uh, repair facility works as well.
in the automotive technology class, we do have uh, very high expectations of our students, but we also provide our students with all of the necessary resources to meet all those expectations. We've got a very nice, clean, neat uh, work environment and plenty of tools and equipment to, to service every kind of car there is out there and all the every job under the hood basically. Being self-motivated, that willingness to learn, that willingness to dig in and get dirty and, and not be afraid to make mistakes. I think sometimes students are afraid and you know they're working with multi-thousand dollar cars but that's why they're here and being able to make mistakes but then learn from them.